and uh, yeah, there's been a bit of action. The machine's working over here in the dam now. Uh, some of the dirt's been dumped here, which I said, oh yeah, why don't we dump it on this side as well as that side? Oh no, 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 we won't need to do that. But apparently, I, uh, I was right and other people were wrong. Um, yeah, looks a prick a mess than it is. But we're getting there. With the help of this machine, it's, uh, it's a big boy. It's uh, in the dam itself now. And depending on how he shapes it, I did say before I might, might end up a tra trapezoid. Depending on how he shapes it, uh, we could have anything from 50 to 100% bigger dam space. That's twice as much water, which is twice as good. But it's, uh, it's just one of those things that has to be done. No one, I, I didn't want to do it. I said to Dick, no, why don't we just get water out of the uh, the community dam? But we haven't sort of like got to uh, speak to the village headman. They call him Puya Barn here, Barn being the village. Uh, uh, talking about poo, uh, this is the this is the uh, slop out of the bottom of the dam here. He built up like a little dam wall all the way around, then he loaded this in, then uh, put some more um, earth. Just it's pretty crap earth. Just wonder if anything grows out here. I mean, I'm sort of going going off course now a little bit, but all this ground here is all the same, all the same rubbish. It's just terrible ground, but for some reason mango trees will grow in it. Uh, the bamboo grows in it. <laughs> they uh, conveniently just ripped it out with the machine and dumped it over here. Uh, I did say to Tick, look, we've got a bit of space along here. There's a clong over there, so we can't put anything in there. But this, this this land here, we could put the... If he dug a trench, we could put the bamboo back in, but now she didn't seem to be too excited about that. Um, yeah, so as well as the, the land we're on, which is Tick's Orchard, her mum, Mare, she's got that land there, which is used for rice, that's that's pretty much all it gets used for. And then my brother-in-law comes out every year and grows rice for the family here. Uh, I don't know, he must sell some of it because it's uh, probably about one and a half, two acres. You can't quite see over there, but there's more land behind there. And uh, that's a that's a hell of a lot of rice. Um, two acres, you're going to be looking at maybe two to three tonne of rice and this is the Klong, the creek they just use the existing creeks from uh, times gone by I suppose you could put it um, and they dig them out over on the other land which is oh, over there which is Ticks Rice and Corn Land the, uh, the Klong's been dug out in three places, so there's like a dam in the Klong, and uh, it really helps, but we're not doing rice and corn anymore, I'm just, I can't, I can't keep up with that, <laughs> it's hard work, real hard work, and I don't know how some of these old Thai guys can do it either, but anyway, we have a mess on our hands, and hopefully by tonight it'll be sorted out a little bit better than it is. And I'll leave you folks. You have a good day. Bye now.